And now with millions of children going back to school as part of the new term, he's sharing his own experience for a new campaign this morning. Well done you, Thank first you. of all. This, this, is a, this is a big thing to do, so, so good for you. Uh, right, let's, let's go back, let's start at the beginning. Talk to me through, talk me through the boy you were at school. Um, well, that picture, it's funny to look back, that hairstyle and those, those rings. Sorry um, about that. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, was a, I was a relatively normal boy, but with weird kind of um, hobbies like at the time. So I, I knew I liked music, yeah. but no one else really kind of that I was hanging out with was playing music. So it was quite a peculiar thing, I think, for a lot of my peers that I was kind of going away and singing about my feelings, um, yeah. love yeah. songs to girls. Mm -hmm. So I kind of didn't really have a... I don't know, I didn't really fit in uh, in some people's eyes. Yeah. So it was quite a confusing time. Obviously, the exam stress is enough anyway. It's a very big thing. And then deal, to have yeah. other people kind of picking on me for, for kind of being emotional was kind of weird. It, 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 it's so strange because it always comes from something different, doesn't it? Mm. You like something different and then that's, that's a huge deal and, it's, yeah. and it seems to be a bad thing. So tell me about like your own experiences with bullying. When, when did it start? Um, I guess 15, 16. And what was peculiar for me is the people that were sending me these messages. It was all online, <clears throat> the kind of like bullying that I felt, which, um, which was weird because back then we didn't know all about social media like we do now, you know, no. 10, 10 years ago, it was very new. But even now, I think for parents, like I've obviously got, uh, my eldest is, is very small, but mm. that's a whole other thing with parenting that yeah. you kind of have to think about is that online... 24-7. Yeah, and, and you're, not, you're not taught to know how to deal with that no. as, a, as a child and as a parent. Yeah. So, so the on, how, how did the online stuff work? How, how did that come about? Um, I, I don't really know how it kind of how it started. Uh -huh. I'd, I'd maybe start with like one or two messages from boys from like another school. Um, sort of just having a go at me what I was doing. And then that kind of like, as I would try and respond and deal with it myself, ask them, you know, what you're on about, then all of their friends would just continue to do it. Mm -hmm. And it got to a point where I was like, do I stop doing the music? It was well before the vamp, so I was kind of on my own right. um, in my bedroom doing songs. Mm -hmm. I didn't really understand uh, the best way of moving forward. And I kind of wished that I'd had someone um, maybe like a anti-bullying ambassador to kind of go to that middle person between between me and a teacher, because going to a teacher is a scary thing. And yes. even my parents, I was I, I was a bit embarrassed. But if there was someone that kind of knew how to to help me, that would have really benefited that would, from that. Yeah, I think. yeah, of course. Um, and and what do you think your lowest point was in in that time? I think it's really difficult. So when I was writing songs when I was fifteen, I put all my time. You know, I'd spend a weekend recording a song um, and and, you know, I'd spend my the money that I'd earned from working in like a cafe on like recording this one song and then I'd put it online and then like I'd be really happy and like proud of that because mm -hmm. it's quite a big step to put something out that is very personal to you and then to have messages kind of immediately saying, oh, this is rubbish. Like that was really difficult because it yeah. was like an immediate high met with like quite a low and it was it was a really confusing thing yeah as to whether to carry on or, or to not yeah i mean it's just it's just horrible that it happens yeah it, it, it yeah. really is it's just there's no right answer for it a lot of it stems like you say from being different mm. or jealousy yeah. a lot of the yeah, time definitely. which 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 is sad if if you could directly talk to a child now that's maybe a bit apprehensive about starting school again or you know has been through it last term maybe what 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 would you say what would your advice be well yeah i mean there's, there's 10 million children going back to school uh, next month and mm -hmm. uh, like half of them statistically are going to experience bullying in, in one way or another mm. um so the whole point of the campaign with the diana award is we're we're encouraging people to kind of take a picture of themselves either you know of all ages when they mm -hmm. were at school or people are going back to school um in their uniform or you know a picture from school and give advice to people and my, my advice would be to try and channel the nerves into positivity yeah i think it's definitely in my line of work being different is celebrated Absolutely. and i think it's sometimes difficult at school to when things are sometimes quite regimented to recognize that being different is a positive mm. it's what makes people exciting um and i think it's about yeah trying to trying to push people in the general direction of not being a bystander if you see bullying yeah but to celebrate um success and diversity sure. absolutely and, and it's like we're in 2018 you'd mm. like to think now being different is celebrated across exactly. the board yeah, right yeah, yeah. And, and what would you say to parents james because for parents it is it's spotting signs, like you mm. say, that you don't always want to speak to your parents. Yeah, it's it's a weird one. I mean, being open about about bullying and having the conversation with people is the hardest part, or it definitely was for me, because mm. I, you know, I, I felt quite repressed in it. But mm -hmm. I think maybe as a parent, if you 
if you think something's going on, maybe, you know, lightly start that conversation because as soon as communication happens, then the burden's lifted off the, the, the yeah, victim and it's, and it's shared. So I'd say, yeah, try and try and speak to as many people as you can. And, and w w would you say that, like, in a way, would you, would you regret not speaking out mm, earlier? 100%. I mean, it was, it was quite a while before I realised, actually, this isn't acceptable and I can, you know, I, I can move on from it. I think, I, mm. yeah, speaking to... I, like my friends and people that were in, like I was saying, social media, you know, was the, the kind of the, the crux of my my yes. issues, but actually really helped me as well because it was like-minded people, so I could send messages to other musicians in like America and say this yeah. is going on, etc. And so I think, yeah, as long as you're speaking to people um, about it, then you're not suffering alone, and that's kind of the point of the whole campaign, I think. Well, good for you, honestly, you. using your platform in such a positive way. It's so so good. Thanks Thank so much Thank for coming you. on. Thanks, Thanks James.